communication with beneficiaries during probate. Another way of saying that is how do you keep them informed? And that's what we're talking about today. Hi, I'm Cheryl Volch, Realtor, Certified Probate Specialist and Trust Real Estate Advisor. Also author of exactly what to do when you are responsible for real estate a loved one leaves behind. I know that's a lot. And I thank you for joining me today. Feel comfortable leaving a comment, especially if you'd like a copy of my book. And when you subscribe and hit the bell, you'll be notified of my new video every week. So as an executor, what is your responsibility to the beneficiaries regarding keeping them informed? Well, experience shows if the beneficiaries don't know the steps that are being taken during the probate, they might get anxious. They might even start talking amongst themselves and because they don't know or have a clear picture, they may begin to imagine things that aren't really happening. In most cases, keeping the beneficiaries informed does not have to be in the form of an official paperwork. It can be as simple as conversations with them or passing on all that's occurring in a weekly email. See, communication always alleviates stress for people, no matter what process they're going through. Just think about when you or maybe a loved one is having medical tests run and you're told they'll have the results in about two days and two days come and you're expecting a call or even an email, right? And when it doesn't come, anxiety has this tendency to rise and we don't necessarily think, oh, I guess everything's okay because nobody called and I didn't get a message. No, 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 no. We generally think the worst. And when the attorney and the probate real estate advisor like me are keeping you informed, then you as an executor or administrator can just pass on that information easily to the beneficiaries. See, when they know what to expect and they know what's happening, experience shows that the process goes so much smoother. And I imagine you feel that's a good thing, right? because I just mentioned the real estate advisor as being part of the whole process. I'd like to just share a little bit about having a skilled, experienced probate real estate advisor, a person like me who has the right skills, the right experience, and even knows how to help you with the many details that are associated with having to deal with a decedent's home in probate. My tip to you is to establish some type of system to keep your beneficiaries informed. My team and I, when helping an executor or an administrator to communicate weekly, we choose Tuesday as our update day because we can gather information from all the people involved in the transaction. People like the escrow officer, people like the title representative, the inspectors, the appraisers, and also the buyer's agent. And we get all that on Monday we package it up and pass it on to the executor or the administrator on a Tuesday. We do call that our Tuesday update. And we choose Tuesday because past experience tells me it can take people involved in the transaction a day to get back to us with their update. And it works. Our executors and administrators feel comfortable knowing that we will be in touch every single Tuesday. In fact, I've had some tell me, oh, I knew it was Tuesday because you were calling. It's never too early to partner with all the crucial professionals you need on your team, including a real estate broker and certified probate real estate advisor. That is an expert helping executors and administrators with the estate they are responsible for in that probate process. The largest asset in an estate is typically the home the decedent has. And to maximize the net proceeds of that asset, preparation is very, very key. You may already know this. A personal property can be the most overwhelming part of being the executor or the administrator. First, you need to take inventory. Then you need to determine what mementos of family members and friends may like. And with the guidance of your probate attorney, you can distribute those items. Then there's the remaining items, and that's where the overwhelm starts. No need to spend much time worrying about this because you can have a professional like me 
orchestrate that process. I imagine what would be a relief for several reasons. I use the words professional orchestrator because our help is very much like orchestrating a symphony. My purpose is to provide the answers to your questions and to present you options and then to introduce you to people that can help with the personal property. And in essence, we're helping you press the easy button. The overall plan is to guide you through the preparation, the marketing, and the successful sale of the decedent's home with as little worry and as little work as possible for you. Others like you have shared the relief having someone like me to help them make decisions and move forward swiftly. Another benefit is that the beneficiaries begin to feel very comfortable because they see the steps being taken and they appreciate the process and you can rely on me as your certified probate real estate advisor at a minimum to update you weekly. And that can be shared with all of those beneficiaries that you have to report to. This can be accomplished by including important information about the decedent's home with the current facts that can be forwarded to them. And again, helping the beneficiaries to feel a sense of calm and a sense of trust that everything is going well. Sound good? You know, again, it's never too soon to contact me to talk about your options and the steps that will need to be taken. So feel comfortable calling me directly. And if you'd like a copy, of exactly what to do when you are responsible for the real estate the loved one leaves, just let me know. And we will drop it in the mail to you. See you next time. Ooh.